Hey guys, in season 5, I was a silver player who decided I want to take League more seriously and climb some ELO. I decided to create a simple spreadsheet that would allow me to track my progress and enhance my focus. I found this to be extremely useful and have continued to use this method until I reached Challenger earlier this year. This is an example of the type of spreadsheet that I used. Uh, in the description of this video, there's a link to a Google Doc where you can download this template and use it for yourself. As you can see, the spreadsheet contains basic information that you would expect about each game such as kills, deaths, assists, KDA and CS per minute. I created rules so that the KDA will be automatically calculated and I added colour rules that reflect my goals. For example, if my CS per minute is more than 7.5, the cell is green. If it's below 6.5, then the cell is red. As so. Arguably, the most important section of the spreadsheet is the focus and things to improve columns. I always recommend focusing on one major thing at a time, so this column should not change more than once every 20 games or so. The things to improve section should be filled out after every game. This allows for self-reflection that you might miss if you just queue up after every ranked game. So for example, the way I would fill this out is back in the day, I put my ELO, so it would be silver one, I'd be playing Caitlyn. Another important point would be if you're a mid laner or a top laner, I would highly recommend that you add another column here that would be matchup, because then it's much easier to, for example, find all the games you played against Fizz or all the games you played against Talon if you have a problem with that. And there'd be the result, which would be win or loss. Uh, and then KDA, so for example, 5, 2, and 10. And I get a nice green KDA because I performed well. Uh, as I said, it's normally the best to focus on one thing for at least 20 games, if not more. So for example, I would be work my way towards, let's say, 7 CS per minute average. And then I would put that for my next 20 games as my main goal. As you get more advanced in ELO and stuff, you can change your goal to reflect that. So for example, recently my focus has been more towards increasing my APM, using my F keys, um, better map awareness, better rotation, stuff like that. And the things to improve would be based on a specific game that I played. Uh, so for example, I finished the Caitlyn game, something that I always had in my spreadsheet back in the day was I would Instead of doing the normal EQ Caitlyn combo, I would E, auto, and then I'd Q afterwards and I'd miss it. So I would always put something like uh, use EQ or E, W combo instead of just E after. Uh, another thing could be if I was overextending in side lanes, anything game specific like that, right? The useful thing about this is that once you've used the spreadsheet for a while, I guarantee there'll be things that are cropping up multiple times. For example, me, it was overextending in side lanes. I was overextending in side lanes like one out of every three games. And then looking back on it after 20 games, I realized, damn, I'm really doing this every game. And then after that really gets drilled into your head, it's much easier to notice your own problems and work towards fixing them. Here's the spreadsheet I used on my climb to challenger recently. This can also be accessed in the description of this video uh, and to the right of each game there's a link to the full gameplay of that match. I haven't fully completed it yet but it's almost done. Uh, most of these are already uploaded and I, I would say in a week or two every single game all the way out until Challenger will be uploaded. So just to show for example let's say I want to learn something about misfortune laning in around gold elo or silver elo. I'll find a misfortune game somewhere here. Let's go here, for example, we can click on the link and then we can watch the laning phase, any part of the lane, whatever, just in case that's useful for you guys, <laughs> just in case it's useful. In conclusion, I think using a spreadsheet for your climb is incredibly useful since it forces self-reflection and discourages mindless game spamming. I really hope you guys find this helpful and any feedback is appreciated. I stream six days a week at twitch.tv slash SimbaADC with educational content including ADC and mid gameplay and coaching. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see some of you guys there.
<laughs> we're popping off, boys. We're popping off. <laughs>